Nice! Unfortunately, we can't do anything with said power yet. What we need is a code, and I'm assuming that this code over here was it. I was avoiding it, but you know what? Screw this, I have a smartphone. I'm not that smart. Let's just translate it. Well, apps on my phone didn't work. That's great. Good thing I didn't have to pay for them. So it took me a long time to figure that out because I don't normally use Morse code. But I have it, I hope. Let's find out. Good day. Good day, can you hear me? Yes. Hello? Well, I hope that your ears are working better than your tongue so that you might use wow. them to listen to my words. You have turned on the light at the end, beginning and middle of the tunnel. But some things remain shrouded in darkness. My Morrissey message I hope has helped, but what you need now is to the wall hole to the right of the fence. Oh, go now, there is no time to explain. Well, okay. in fact, time is one of the few things we have in abundance down here. What well, surprises are spoiled by such catty curiosity. Okay, so we're gonna go to the right. We're gonna go to the auxiliary shaft. But I need this dog to go away. Alright. Well, let's see here, what did I write down? Um, five, seven, three, eight. Oh, that was correct! Shit, shit, shit. Come with me, doggy. We'll go up some stairs. Come on, come on, doggy. Come on, doggy. This, the animal is very dumb. Go underneath, thank you. Alright, so to the right of the fence. Okay, good. There we go. Okay. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. I'll be quite honest. Shit. Ah, uh, my memory is like something with a great many small holes. We shall be needing to like perform some minor demolition work so that we might one day meet again. For this task, sticks of dynamite. we shall require the use of a large, earth-eating metal monster. And that monster is thirsty for juice from the place where things are kept. Juice? By the way, you can call me Red. It's not my name, you understand, but, but I am sure you will agree. It is a name rather similar to a cardigan. Fetching when worn correctly. Oh, fuck me. I don't know how I'm doing this. I'm doing this, apparently. Holy fuck, what is going on? Well, stop looking at him then, dum dumma. Holy fuck. Mm. <laughs> you can fuck off! Get away from the dog this way, at the very least. Long way down. It's not that far down. Now this is worse. Well, those are available to me now. You can't do anything about it, dog. You should just give up.
Things fall down all the time. Don't worry about it. Stop pushing my bottle around. The thing's explosive. Oh boy. It should be dark enough up here. Regardless, he can't get up here. So we should be fine. There he goes. I don't know if I need those right now, but now I have them. Okay, that's the auxiliary shaft. Or is barricaded. I see nothing. Let's go to the tool shed then. It's nice having a little bit of light. It's not much, but it's much better than nothing. <sighs> we self safely made it over. Please be open. Yeah, it's open. That's good. Cement mixer. No reason why it wouldn't still be working. I mean, it is kind of mechanical. There we go. I think that was a piece of wood that was holding that back, so that's good. Xeno Report 66B? Phase 9. Anno 9002, Anno Dominin 1992. Or Domini. 1992 is one of our years. What's 9. What? Filed by Chief Attending Xeno Officer for the eyes of the leading installation officer only. Leader. Unlike the other findings, 66B appears to be of manufactured rather than natural origin, and so warrants an additional interest and need, I say, security. The bulk of Substance 63 was discovered only six yards from where Artifact 66B was buried, and appears at least in part to consist of a solidified form of 63, with a number of op operable appendages. The artifact admits a low level of light from a seemingly inexhaustible energy supply, suggesting its origin is indeed as we suspected. Of course, the ramifications of this fact are clear, and appropriate measures are already being taken. Progress in becoming enlightened as to the purpose of the device, if, indeed, it, is, it served a purpose in the traditional sense at all, has been slow. Following protocol to this letter, I assigned my secondary officer to Artifact on Phase 7, only for him to go missing the following day. He eventually returned to the site from a previously uncharted area of the mines, presumably having discovered a new route avoiding the cave-ins. At this stage, we can only assume what transpired, since he remains in a state of disorientation. Far be it for me to question the decisions of the elevated cast, but I'm struggling to understand the necessity of conducting standard scientific testing in this case. I of course have full faith in the abilities of the research team put together and sent here by my immediate superior. I simply wonder whether their time might be better employed on the main site. Nevertheless, it is comforting to know that the actions of every member of the organization has carefully, are carefully choreographed and controlled by those far outranking myself, both in stature and wisdom. And with this in mind, I feel fully justified in filing an official request for further manpower. We have already lost a number of workers to unforeseen events largely while engaging in the studies mentioned earlier, and further investigation into the area calls for volunteers to carry out tasks all too hazardous in nature to risk the well-being of more elevated organization members. In particular, the tunnel system above the secondary site requires immediate cartography. What the fuck? Xeno report, as in alien? Or at least unknown at the very least. Odd. All right, well, we had a saw. Who was that? Ooh. Thank you. Got another flare. Although right now, right now, right now, wow. Right now, lighting is not really an issue, which is good. All right, 
Alright, where are we going to next? Evacuation? Or excavation, rather. Storage. I wish it was evacuation. Oh, shit. Side that down. I can hear up through a rock wall. That is that is scary. Oh, this place looks a little bit more complicated than that was gonna be. Shit. There's a dog right there. Damn, I can't get the store open. Storage. Those holes in my mind are increasingly gaping. You cannot breach the inner sanctum of the place of storing. The entryway is blocked. So what if the squashy material between my ears is squashier than most? I may not be perfect like a hanging picture, but my words are wise and backed up by time. A pox! A pox on both your brain cells! But, Try as I may, you wait, must what? think that I deceive you with my admittingly cunning ways. As far as my eye has seen, our rocky grave extends, and yet you cast away my hope like you would a puppy, freshly rolled in its own feces. I hope that your warped sense of morality is better company than I, because now it is all you have left. Okay, I'll find my way in. You don't worry about that, buddy. Um, I'm sorry. Sometimes my emotions are like a disobedient pet. Uncontrollable and often rolling in shit. <laughs> Better wow. safe than sorry, they say. But I think we are both sorrier than we are safe. A tunnel lies between a nearby watery cave and the place where things are kept. Take the second right from the closed door and you will find what you seek. No, I was coming over here anyway. I mean, you, you did have a little melt down there, buddy, but maybe you should settle down a little bit. Just saying. Red has issues. This box should be as ancient as the rest of mine, but it looks looks in better nick. Okay, the side facing the excavation seems more corroded, um, meaning that. Let's look straight up into the rock. There's a hole up there. This must be a tunnel leading to the storeroom. Pretty high though. So this stuff must be very corrosive. Looks like some kind of excavation, although not like any mining operation I've ever seen. I don't know where that mist is coming from, but I don't fancy getting any closer to it. Well, yeah, if the side of a metal box is more corroded to it, then, yeah. Oh, boy. They hear horrible things. The man still clutching, still looking for what? Before him lies metal jutting awkward from the earth. A hatch, a portal, a hole, a door. Unfamiliar text. Who are these figures huddled around? What secrets are hidden behind the faces of men? Indeed. I felt something that time that I didn't feel before, but I'm, I'm sure it's always been there. It's as if a small part of me is still trapped inside the artifact. Ah, this might shed some light on what's going down here. Let's read it. The test substance continues to defy identification. Both chemical and xeno investigations fail to produce meaningful results. Testing continues. Test 102. Boromine test. Normal. pH of 5. Test 103. Acid amide test. Negative. Test 104. Amino... Um, amino... Amino 9H3. Negative. Unre unreactive. Test 105. Hydrochloric acid solution. Negative for sulfate, sulfide, and chlorite ions. Test 106. Standard hallucinogenics. Mild intoxicant. Tests abandoned due to most test subjects suffocating, or rather suffering massive internal hemorrhaging within one to two hours. Test 107. Positive, negative, metal cations. Incomplete. Test 108. Human hallucinogenics. Incomplete. Testing of gaseous fog has been considerably more successful. It appears to be har a harmless blend of sulfur, chlorine, harmless with chlorine in it, and aromatic amine. I, I'm probably butchering whatever those actually are. Scientific words that I am not uh, familiar with, which gives it the floating visual effect. Please note that harmless here is used in the xenochemic sense. Yeah, I could tell. It is uh, it is harmless insofar as we have identified it, as so can take the necessary safety measures. 
If directly ingested, it would naturally be lethal. Yeah, you don't say. Test 159. Potassium dicarbonate paper? Positive for sulfur, okay. Test 106. Litmus test. Negative for all but chlorine. Test 301. Hydrochloric acid solution. Didn't you already try that? Positive for our... Aromatic amine. Again, don't know what that is. Work continues on the issue of transporting the substance. So far, removing it from the dormant location causes its base state to radically change. Radically? I can speak. Radically change, producing massive heat to the detriment of three workers, one of whom is no longer operational due to his injuries. Following heat dissipation, the substance appears to turn dead, unreactive to every test we have the equipment to run. The prevailing theory is that somehow the disruption of the material causes it to enter a hugely accelerated chemical decay. We estimate its half-life to be approximately 0 0.4 seconds. That is a big decay. All right. Um, let's see. We need to get up there. So, naturally, there we go. Better or worse, looks like I can climb up into the tunnel mouth. I'll need to be pretty high to get to the grip of the ladder. Uh, can I put this up there? Because it'd be much easier if I did that. All right, I'll probably just stack these. That looks about good. Can I not pick that up? I can't pick it up. Bullshit. I should be able to slide these over, maybe? Maybe, question mark? Maybe, maybe, maybe? There we go. Got stuck on the cord for a second. Don't you hate when it gets stuck on the cord? Alright, that'll let me up. However... Give it a save here. Uh, yeah. And as you can probably tell from my reading, I am um, I'm, I'm coming to the end right here. <laughs> At least for now. Um, it's it's great getting back into Penumbra. I loved this game. Um, if they could have ever ported them to the Amnesia Engine, they would have been probably pretty freaking popular. But as they were when they came out, not very many people played them. I think when I first played it, it was actually a Linux demo of all things. Um, I was just looking for things to run on Linux when I was testing out Linux. But yeah, that was a long time ago. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like and a comment down below would be greatly appreciated. And this has been Boy Lag, signing off.